constructivism doesn't work, even with a high-tech overlay. In fact, it will create the greatest forms of tyranny, as we're now seeing. Go ahead and go to the next clip. You got it ready? Here is uh, the next clip. Patriotism, weapons, armies, navies, all that is a sign that we're not civilized yet. Kids will ask... Uh, hit pause. Didn't... All that is a sign that we are humans that are warlike, and there's always evil people that want to dominate us. And yes, when we build up a weapon system, a lot of times it ends up being used against us. So we've got to limit it, like the Founding Fathers said, and protect liberty and, 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 and prosecute corruption. But see, the U.N. wants all our guns, and they're the only ones that are going to have them. A monopoly of power. So see, oh, we're barbarous. Go back to it. Yeah. Kids will ask their parents... Didn't you see the necessity of the machines? Dad, couldn't you see that war was inevitable when you produce scarcity? Isn't it obvious? Of course the kid will understand that you were pinheads raised merely to serve the established institutions. We're such an abominable, sick society that we won't make the history. Better. All right, hit pause. Just say that... Hit pause. What he's saying is exactly what the elites are implementing. They're using the technology to fully take over and remove humans from the equation, but to dominate us and control us. Instead, he's saying, no, accelerate this so we'll be empowered. That's not what's going to happen. Just sit back and watch what develops. Go ahead. Make the history, but they just say that large nations took land from smaller nations, used force and violence. You'll get history talked about as corrupt behavior all the way along until the beginning of the civilized world. That's when all the nations work together. World unification, working toward common good for all human beings, and without anyone being subservient to anyone else. Oh, yeah. Without social stratification, whether it be technical elitism or any other kind of elitism, eradicated from the face of the earth. Back that up. Back that up 20 seconds. Back that up, because I want you to hear that carefully. Who is going to enforce no social strata of any type eradicated? In violence, you'll get history talked about as corrupt behavior all the way along until the beginning of the civilized world. That's when all the nations work together. World unification, working toward common good for all human beings, and without anyone being subservient to anyone else. Without social stratification, whether it be technical elitism or any other kind of elitism, eradicated from the face of the earth. Eradicated. Eradicated. John, nothing. have you connected the other ISDN? Because I can't continue here. It's, it's blasting in my ears. Actually, that's being used. We can switch over to the access unit. Uh, switch over to the access unit. I can't okay. do this. Okay. okay. All right, here we go, folks. Um... I mean, as things get more complex, it allows centralization by elites to dominate, and the public aren't specialists, uh, but in a few areas individually, and so can't grasp it. And so this is a hellish trap humanity's making for itself. Uh, I am for technological development, uh, but I am for education, open free market, the opposite of what we are seeing out of this. The opposite of what we're hearing from this. Uh, you know, I'm going to analyze this more. I was watching this last night. It was just blowing me away. They're going to eradicate the classes. Oh, look out, man. Oh, my God. Uh, the communists killed over 150 million people. And they show people spaceships and fancy machines and everything they were going to do. And Katie barred the door. And what are the bankers doing? The same thing. Right now, they're selling the same thing to the children. The bankers get taught what they want in schools, and they teach this. Unification, world government, coming together. Under them, though. And um, this is how they pacify the huge throngs, the masses. Uh, and, 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 and it's so sick. And then the exceptional get punished. The people that save and work hard but aren't corrupt, they get punished. And then the exceptional who are evil, they get to run everything. Not these uh, delusional pipe dreams that uh, we are witnessing here. All right, final segment coming up, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, 
We'll uh, continue tracking and covering all of this. Stay with me. Folks, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to get the maker of this film on, and I'm going to ask him some questions. I don't think they're bad. People always fall for the same tricks. And it's true that advanced technologies, automation, robotics, can just absolutely empower humanity. Uh, there can be surgeons and technicians already now uh, with very uh, you know inexpensive mass-produced machinery uh, to give people better health care, all of it. But the elite says all of that and says the, 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 the main crowd pushing the agenda of what you just heard are the globalists selling their minions with this. That's kind of the religion that the U.N., and we can play Walter Cronkite saying the same thing, you know, global governance, uh, world unification. People don't want to be unified. It's going to be done by the sword, and there's going to be no nation to stand against the tyranny that runs it. And power corrupts absolutely, folks. Power corrupts absolute power corrupts absolutely. The true quote by Lord Acton was, power tends to corrupt and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And so it doesn't work. The social planners, you look what they've done. They seize your children. You, you, they build prisons. They, it, 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 it's horrible. Uh, the, the control freaks cannot be turned loose through the, ten, through the technocracy. And uh, that is what's happening. But I know that these guys have a lot of laudable goals and things here. When you start talking about eradicating money and any form of class, uh, you know, that means a bum on the street that's got a nicer jacket has got to give his jacket up to somebody else. Can you imagine the hellishness of that? Um, so they're, the globalists are masters. They're blaming free market on what's happening now. That's not what's happening. Government took the pension funds. Government set up Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. They did all of this. Government's giving the bankers all the currency right now. You notice these socialists are never going to say just give direct money right to the people. Give land, no strings attached, right to the people. That's a free market socialism. To, to, to say take all the government lands and just give, uh, you know, however many acres there are broken up to American citizens. Take the tens of millions of acres, take, take half the tens of millions of acres that are just in the West, and just give it each to American citizens. Well, the argument is, and it's a true one, a lot of people wouldn't want it, wouldn't want to take care of it, wouldn't care. But then people who wanted it, but then the government would corrupt that process of giving the land out. Regardless, it'd still be better than nothing. Yeah, you want to come out here and get a claim, you want to come out here and put a fence up around this, you can have it. That's true free market. Taking over the socialist cake and then dividing it. You want decentralization, you want local economies. That's what you want, not this, not this mega centralization. And you use the machines to empower the people that way, but then locals own the machines and do what they want with it. 